Welcome back to yet another episode of Master Detective Archives Rain Code, and we are about to resume where we last left off. It's been about a couple of days since I last played this game, so I'm gonna be a little bit. It took some time, but you've reached the truth behind this locked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely not remember every single detail, but all I know is we just did a lock room mystery. We completed all four of the lock room. Well, we we, we solved like i guess four of them i i think there's so, still some more there's gonna be a couple of holes in our argument haha <laughs> or a couple of holes in our fucking like detective work but we won't be able to patch them up throwing the key through the window would be obvious so to mislead us into thinking that was impossible the key was nailed to a painting which was then pushed over it's one thing for an amateur but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this only amateurs would get fooled by... Wait, where was the... Wouldn't the paint been able... Wait a minute. He kicked over the paint, right? Why wasn't that painting covered in paint? No, 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 no. The bucket was way too close. Never mind. Wait, it, was it was close to the entrance. Me? Too far away from the paint. Or painting. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it. Look at my cape. Look at my cape. Got an arrow on my cape. What is that? Is that an arrow? Or is that a spear? Well. Ten solution keys, maybe. What is it? You don't oh. look very happy. Oh, I was thinking about the locked room at the art gallery storage. I think anybody could have re recreated that. Anybody can make a locked room mystery. The culprit, the nail man, anyone. Right. Okay. Hey, a treasure chest! Oh, who's gonna open this one? We should let the meanest one of us open it. Bruh. How would you decide that? Kalara. Like this? She do be kind of mean, talking shit about poor people. <laughs> oh, I remember that. I'm the meanest. I don't know, Halara kind of mean. Let's check out this treasure. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing in it. It's empty. Huh? Why? After all we went through to solve this locked room. This must mean solving the third locked room mystery doesn't necessarily bring us any closer to the ultimate truth. That's terrible. I suddenly feel so tired. Uh oh. We can't call it quits. We gotta keep going. Dead end. That's it for all the locked rooms. Something tells me we gotta go back in there. We make a pretty good team. Don't you think so? Nah. <sighs> well, what do we do from here? Uh oh. I see. Ooh, I, I heard that. You heard that? It must be due to solving all of the locked room mysteries. We're gonna get a different version of this, and it's gonna be a heavy ass guitar. Uh, like solo, bro. Now let's go. I'm telling you. Right. I never noticed that Again, in the song before. To ask. Who's supposed to be the protagonist here? Clearly, my boy. Well, I guess we should talk to him. I see. The way forward is clear. It. Now let's go. That's it for all the locked rooms. We make a pretty good team. Don't you think so? Yo, this theme is actually pretty dope. This game's music is pretty fire. Oh my god. The, the game slowed down heavily for a second. I should have probably saved it, huh? Alright. Bruh, why does Twitch keep spamming on live or stream elements? This place is creepy. Don't be afraid to roll the dice. You must keep pursuing the truth. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Isn't that right? Yes. Oh, we're going down into the crypt. The crypt keeper. Crypt keeper. Oh, 
Oh shit. Is this some dungeon? What is the meaning of this? Let me out of here. Let me out! I'll kill your ass in the name of God! You'll kill my ass in the name of God, alright. I I have nothing to do with the case. Yeah, whatever you say, boy. I'm not the culprit! Let me go! Wow, they're all here! So now we must pick out the true culprit of this case. The true culprit? Yuma, you solved all the locked room mysteries before you made it here. You should have all the clues and evidence you need to accuse the culprit. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. Damn. <laughs> you sure are honest. All right, we got to think about all the characters and what they told us and what they've done, man. All right. Old girl says she couldn't have done it. Let's just assume her arm is broken, bro. She couldn't have climbed that ladder, or climbed down it. Well, she could have climbed down it. Technically, yeah. She technically didn't use it to climb up. She climbed down, which you can do. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. Now tie up all the innocent ends. until proven guilty. That is mistaken. everybody in here is innocent until proven guilty. That's I, that's how I have to see it, right? With your logic, anything is possible. All right, I'll try. Ooh, somebody's guilty. I think the biggest suspicion, dude, is the the fucking the priest, because bro, he he called the dude there, right? When he have more pool to get like certain things. And who's the cover figure it out if hit him with a dramatic finger point, make the right choice and you'll reveal a new truth. I'm not the nail man. Cause you're the nail woman. I like how the game makes you choose who. Bum, 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 bum. I'm not the nail man. I'm not the culprit. What does that say on there? Fuck who? I, I, I'm not the culprit. The F you, the Fox Bible. I, uh, I'm not the nail man. How can I be the nail man? I don't know. You got a branded symbol on you, bro. I'm not the nail man. I, I'm not the culprit. I'm going to choose the priest. Who called the clockmaker there? Is you, father? father. Wh what? That's an absolutely ridiculous thing to say. Oh, word. Him again? Why won't he just give up? I say it's him because he called the clockworker dude to the the fucking place immediately, right? You're saying the priest, a man of the cloth, is the culprit. And he also has nails That's on his impossible. clothing. Come on, bro. How dare you spew such nonsense? Right. We don't know. Do not make baseless accusations. We, we This could technically just be another part of the game, right? And this could just be like, oh, damn, we fucked up. Time to go back. The culprit has to be someone else. Uh, uh, alternative scene. Yuma, can I leave this to you? It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Master, you're acting like a real detective. Go on and boom kill him. Hey, yo, nice hair, bro. Do look like a, a, a fighter straight out of Primal Fury. I guess he can turn into a fox, bro. Blue hair fox, the priest. RDM. I'm 
a man of the cloth. Okay. Oh my! Like this. Wait, what happens if I hit ZR? Total blast! I am not the male. That's it. The first one to discover the fire. The mailman is the worshipper. Yeah, the nail man. Why would the worship have had access to the uh, incinerator? I get the perfect like. Oh, was that a was, was that a dodge? I couldn't even tell. That's it. The first one to discover the body. The nail man is the worshiper. Right, here we go. Got him. Hit him with the rebuttal. The rope ladder used in the clock tower's locked room was found in the incinerator, which only clergy can access. The worshiper may be a regular churchgoer, but he's no clergy member, so he's no longer a suspect. Shut up! Shut up! Ridiculous! Burnt rope remains thin person. Uh oh. Something tells me we want to use thin person. Even so, I am not the culprit. There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant. The servant must be the nailman. The, the servant. servant was able to commit the crimes. I'll flash through this mystery. Bruh. You making this too easy, old man? Climbing up to the underground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. Yeah. No, no, no! Absolute lies! Fishing line, locked room, floor, plan of study. The nun must be the culprit. Okay, buddy. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crime. It's not like she's afraid of heights. She used the nails to climb. And you know she's always safe. I'll kill your ass in the name of God! <laughs> it's clear she's the root of the soul. Okay, I gotta find a contradiction. But Okay, okay, this is this is finally the She's thin and also works at the church. Okay. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crime. Okay, let's see. But -da -da -da. her arm is broken. So can we link her arm being broke to any of this? Thin, thin, thin. Oh, we're bringing up older shit. Okay, so I gotta put my I gotta put my mindset into a different way. I gotta find the right uh, contradiction here. Mansions, flu uh, floor pan uh, plan, and photo of the locked room mystery. Both you see from Alara. All right, the keys placement implies that only someone with full use of their arms could have fashioned this room. Yeah, there we go, right here. So this is clearly what we need to do, fishing line. Oh, it's I... not like she's afraid of heights. Ah, uh, fucked up. Can we speed this she up? The nails to climb. And you know she's always safe. I'll kill your ass in the name of God. I think I could have. Hold on. It's clear she's the ruthless soul. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed it up. I think it's R1. There we go. The nun must be the culprit. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. There we go. The truth. There we go. We're bringing up something from a past crime. The mansion studies locked room. The culprit tossed the key behind the corpse with perfect aim. With her dominant hand injured, the nun couldn't have done that, which means she's not the culprit. Not the churchgoer, the servant, or the nun. There's only one option left. Father, it's you. You are the nail man. Got him. Ha. Uh, yeah. Mystery phantom priest. Hey, say something quick. Otherwise, they'll pin me as the culprit. Um, well. Well, I don't know what to say, bro. Uh, you're useless. Bam, useless. Makoto's favorite fucking word. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, you're useless. You serve zero purpose. You should quit yourself. You should quit your job. I am a priest in service to God. Uh, attack on Titan time. <laughs> hey, yo. I am not the nail man. Yo, yo, he looks ruthless. You got some nice goggles. What God would make you this ugly? Damn! All your proof is nothing but fantasy. You don't have a single piece of hard evidence. A hard evidence? Oh shit! Do we have hard evidence pointing to the priest? But master, you do. It's easy. Based on the facts, the priest must be the culprit. The decisive evidence that proves it is... Uh, I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? What? A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Listen, a detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority, even with questionable methods. Questionable methods? What do you mean? In short, you must get them to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Bluffing? New mechanic? Use everything? Don't hesitate to use anything that might give you an advantage. Bro, why didn't they make him... They should have made him look like Ipon Datara, the nail man. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. A bluff? In other words, I should just claim I have solid evidence. But what could I use as a bluff? Oh, so this is going to be a region of death match where we have to be like the, the person that's lying. We have to lie? Have we ever had to lie in Dongan Rumpa? This is actually OD. Region death match. Past male. Your stupid fantasies. Here, let me see what we can use. A report concerning the clock. Oh, this would probably be the easiest thing. This is probably the easiest thing to probably make up shit about because there's a lot of reports, just a lot of stuff that's just been withheld. Made by dress shoes, though nothing further could be determined. Because it's a game. Hmm. This is obtained from the church worshiper. Who knew about the past now men murders? Dress shoes? We could say that. The report concern. So, probably dress shoes. Everything you say is nothing but a fantasy. A final fantasy? You have any truth. Did you find my fingerprints? Oh. Did oh. you find my blood? Of 
course there's no evidence. Got him. Good thing I missed the, the, the first time. <laughs> you left clear evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. I, I, I definitely uh, hit the wrong button and missed the, when he said, do you have my fingerprints? And I'm like, oh, do I just counter with footprints? Oh, wait, oops, my bad. There were footprints left under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out they perfectly match your footprints. Impossible. I already burned those shoes in the incinerator. Dumbass. You already gave yourself away. Got him. Got him. Dumbass. He's like, oops. That doesn't prove anything. I just said I I I I I, I, I threw my shoes in the incinerator because they were dirty. I, I mental breakdown I time. I only enacted justice. In the name of God. Looks like it worked. Good job, Yuma. Thanks. God, I want is rotten to the core. To say that someone had to get their hands dirty, those slain are the evil incarnate that harmed others. That's why the people asked the mailman to kill them. Bruh. This dude gotta stop talking and lower up. Well, he ain't gonna have a chance to get a lawyer, bro. His soul finna be taken before then. <laughs> must be punished. And so, I strangled them. South over there, like, ah, shit. Case closed, bro. All I did was slay evil. No attack on Titan? Was it? It couldn't have been that easy. It can't be over, right? If someone hates somebody bad enough, they give that name to the Nail Man. And this priest went around killing those people as the Nail Man. The urban legend offered targets for murder. A priest is supposed to be the voice of God, but he went around killing people because someone wanted them dead. Damn, so we don't have to do every single mechanic for each case? Okay. I thought we was gonna have to hold on man something weird is going on here something tells me this ain't over it's terrible it's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that I feel like there's more bro that could be said about all murders insane people kill for insane reasons for all we know this might be linked in another case in the future anyway you did it Yuma my expectations of you weren't wrong after all is it finally over huh nothing's happening but last time yeah the soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear and since it didn't it looks like this isn't over yet huh it's I not beg over your pardon. there are still mysteries related to the nail man killings within this mystery labyrinth but we solved all of the locked rooms and discovered the true identity of the nail man but was there somebody putting the names out there was i wrong what the fuck but uh, the, the priest even confessed to it this is so confusing bro calm down Yuma. there's no need to panic if the nail man's identity is exposed and all mysteries are yet to be solved then most likely someone else's agenda is involved in this string of killings oh seth someone else's agenda Meaning the nail man didn't work alone. Oh shit. You mean there's another culprit? Oh shit. Yuma, if you consider yourself to be a detective, you must see the truth through to the very end. No mystery concludes with a dead end. There is nothing we detectives cannot solve. Oh. The second most, does it go to the second most suspicious person? I mean, if that's going to be the, if that's going to be the, the, the fact, maybe it's going to, this is probably the, the, hold on. Let's, let's see. This is good. This is good. All right. I, I listen, I ain't going to say it's the, the fanatic, but hold on a second. We have to review these killings from a different perspective.
out of the four locked rooms. If any of them were hiding a mysterious secret. The one with the treasure chest that didn't have anything. It would be the room that's obviously different from the others. Different? Which one didn't have the, the, the fucking chest? I think it was three. Master, I get the feeling you want my help. Isn't that right? That's... Huh? Huh? Oh, fine. I can't say no to you when you're so helpless like that. Okay, Master. Lay it all out. Hey, yo, music time. Okay, we gotta figure this out, bro. There's still more to be solved. Don't ease up now. Lara will recognize your skills one of these days. Let's go to three. Try to solve it, lickety split! Alright, this locked room is different because the victim's death. The blunt, the blunt trauma bullshit. The blunt, the blunt trauma, the, the head. Come on, they wouldn't let me like spit fire that shit. The rest were filled with dynamite, by the way. Don't ask me how. So there was two ways to figure this out. So the reason why I chose this one was because this room did not give us anything from a chest. But if you remember the room and remember what happened to the victim, that victim also was like kind of killed differently. So th that was a second way to think about it. Opened up. It seems to be a hidden passage. All right. If so, then the truth should be somewhere down there. Yeah, thanks for the, the thumbnail, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah. Shinigami out here giving me all the views on my YouTube now. Thanks, Shinigami. You saved my channel. 82 degrees outside. Oh, what the hell? for the victim at the art gallery storage is the only one that's different. Right. The victims in the other locked rooms were all strangled to death. All had strangulation marks and scratches, defensive wounds. The victim in the third locked room had strangulation marks, but no signs of resisting. There's also evidence of blunt traumas to the head. Blunt trauma, yeah. Shout out to Phoenix right? The marks could have been made after the victim died, so as to appear as if strangulation was the cause of death. The real cause of death is blunt force trauma. Blunt force trauma. Hey, look at your boy. Blunt force trauma. So they forced the blunt into their mouth and they got tra uh, traumatized. What the fuck am I saying? That's not even a word. Like, bro, why do people do that, bro? Just say what you gotta say. Like, bro. Here's another obstacle, but it's likely to be an insignificant one. Pineapple face ass dude on the right, skeletons in the middle of the door. We got a rose with wings, we got the sun. Yuma, let's solve this mystery and move on. Right. Oh, shit. Why was the cause of death made to look like strangulation? Coincidence, the work of a copycat. Right here. <laughs> no, dog, it was just a coincidence. Is it ever just a coincidence, bro? I think not. The strangulation was faked. 
to imply this crime had the same perpetrator as the other three incidents. By making the crime scene as similar as possible, it appeared like the mailman was responsible for an unrelated murder. Which means, this was a copycat crime. I agree. What the hell, the kid? Oh shit. Among the string of mailman killings, there could be some that were done by copycat criminals. That has to be why the mystery labyrinth still remains, even after discovering the mailman's identity. So who is the copycat criminal? Indeed, we need to uncover this imposter's identity. All right. Blunt force trauma. You're accusing me of being the copycat criminal? What the hell? I'll kill your ass! Bruh, you tripping. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why would I accuse the boy? It's not me. I told you already. I have nothing to do with this. You're accusing me of being the copycat criminal? What the hell? I'll... You're accusing I you're I I told you. Well, the you. next suspicious person, I dude, is this Ayak? No, it's not me. Copycat. You're accusing me of being- I told you already! I have nothing to do with this! Alright, buddy. You are the copycat criminal! Huh? Me? What are you talking about? I told you all about the Nailman, and even cooperated with your investigation! And now you think I'm a murderer? Are you fucking kidding me?! Oh shit! This is crazy! Your investigation isn't worth shit! I'll crush you to dust! Oh, he got hell news. Look at this guy. I should've I should have definitely picked the kid. Victim's neck. Why accuse me of being the culprit? I was just first on the scene. Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? It could have all been the nail man. The cause of death was just different each time, yeah? Even if there was a copycat criminal, why is it me? Could be the copycat. The nut could be the copycat. Hey, ooh, damn, that came at me fast. Let's see. The victims of the serial kings were all strangled, but the cause of death was not publicized. The rope. There are also string marks on the back of the. So, am I supposed to tell them that it's either between this and this one? Some of the shit wasn't publicized, so why would he know some of the shit, right? I was just first on the scene! Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? Because you're an asshole, bro. It could have all been the nail man. The cause of death was just different each time, yeah? He said different. Even if there was a copycat criminal, why is it me? 
Oh, uh, yeah, that's that was it. I think that I missed my opportunity. Bruh, damn, hit me with the three piece. All right, my bad, bro. You hit me with the three piece. I should have respected your game, bro. Because you're an asshole. I mean, it could have all been the nail man. The cause of death is just different each time. Yeah. How would you know that? No, I'm fucking stupid. Okay. In that case. Me of being the Was that the wrong statement? <laughs> Was that just the wrong statement I did that on? Culprit! I was just first on the scene! Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? Could have all been the nail man. The cause of death is just different each time, yeah? Even if there was a copycat criminal, why is it me? The serpent could be the copycat. The nut could be the copycat. Anyone could have done it! <laughs> the cause of death in the art gallery was blunt force trauma, faked as a strangling to resemble the nail man's MO. But the murders all being strangulations wasn't made public right away. The only ones who knew that were those who actually set foot on the crime scenes. That includes the mailman himself, the peacekeepers, and the first eyewitnesses on the scene. Which means you. You could have committed the murder in the art gallery. <clears throat> Man, dipped. He dipped. After him. He said, uh oh. He said, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I need time to think. I'll see you guys on the next episode.